Okay, in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect. It's quite a subtle effect, but quite a nice one. And um, this is for a kind of um, a film uh, intro. It's animating the letters individually, as you can see there, and just making them look like a kind of uh, like a wave, a really subtle effect. But I think it's quite um, nice and, and powerful. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to make, make a couple of assumptions about um, you joining uh, this tutorial here. One is that you know the basics of uh, DaVinci Resolve. So here I am in our edit screen here and I've already imported some footage. This is the, the Seascape footage. I got this from Pixabay if you want, might want to know. The next thing we want to do in terms of adding some uh, animated text is come into uh, our uh, video here and then if we come into effects, if you haven't already added this by the way, just go add track and then Come into our effects tab, fusion composition, just drag our fusion co composition down here, like so. That shouldn't really go on the top there, I meant to put that there. Doesn't matter, there we go. I want to make this about seven seconds long, it doesn't have to be exact. There we go, I don't know why that's there, I'm going to delete that. Um, just drag that down a bit. Okay, so we're clicking on our fusion composition and now we go into our fusion tab here. What I'm going to do now is add a text node. So just drag that from the menu bar there and join the text node to our media out. There we go. Here's our text node. Let's type in some text. Big wave hunters. There we go. And let's increase the size of that. So it's about the right size for us. So in this uh, text area here, this is where we kind of uh, make the uh, make the transition into um, animated letters individually. So right click in here and then scroll down and then click this button that says follower. Okay, once you've done that, this opens up a new set of tools for us here, which is modifiers. So if I go into modifiers now, click modifiers, um, I've got timing. Um, the, these are all um, slight adjustments, but by the way, you can make, so you might want to fiddle with these yourself. Uh, left to right, that means it addresses each each letter from the left to the right. Um, then between each character is what I want there. I think I've tried this before. I think my delay, I, I want it to be about six. Um, again, I might have to come back to these just to adjust them. Okay, so just going through these one by one. We've already got our text. Transform, we're not going to work with. Uh, shading, um, there's a whole thing in here about shading. Oddly, it's not just shading, there's things like position. We're going to work with this position tab here. Um, there we go. Now, so the first thing to do is here's our marker. I'm going to set this marker at keyframe zero. I'm going to come into our offset X and Y, and it's the height of the letters we want to adjust here. So the thing I want to uh, work with is the Y offset. So I'm just going to click that, click that there. Oddly, I, I always find this a bit confusing. As soon as you click that, it takes you into this different screen. And then I couldn't quite work out how to get back. All you do is just double click on the follower button and this takes you back into the settings again. A little unusual that, but, but perhaps they've got the reasons for doing that. Okay, so you'll see now it's set at, uh, it, we, we've, we've set a keyframe at zero on the offset Y. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to come up to about the the 50 frame marker here i'm going to set a y offset at uh, point 0.1 for the timing i think this might be about right i'm not sure we can always come back to these and adjust them point 0.1 and now i'm going to set a keyframe there at point 0.1 okay has it added a point has it, it doesn't look like it's added one oddly 0 0.1 Click return. Now it has done. Okay, so I can, you can see it's done that by the little tiny marker there. Okay, as you can see, it's already. If we just scroll through that. It's it's now adding a kind of wave effect straight away. It's only going up, isn't it? That's not a problem because we've set our up marker here at the 50 frames. Let's set our down marker at the 100 frame here. So we want to come into the the Y offset again, and we set this at zero. There we go. And if I click enter. It's now added a keyframe there, so it's gone from uh, keyframe zero, and let's set the Y offset at zero. I've gone up to keyframe 50, and we've, we've set the Y offset at point 0.1, and then um, back at 100 frames, I've set 
the y offset at zero. And if we just scroll to the end, you'll see what happens. And there we go. That's the effect we want. Brilliant. Now let me just scroll that along. How's that working? Nice. Now, here's a little bit of magic source we, we need to add. Because I don't know if you noticed there, but this is almost like it hits the top and the bottom and it almost does an immediate about face. And the the, the um the kind of the speed in the direction almost just reverses almost immediately. But that's not how a wave works, is it? No, it isn't. So what we want to do here is we are we, we click on that, we click on our spline. Okay, let's say this is where our magic source happens. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go, and that's the reason why it's happening. You can see that's just a straight spline. Now, what we want to do is just make this a little bit more wave-like. So, if you click on each of these, these are our these are our uh, keyframes here. If I just move that like so, there. Click on that one like so, there. This is a little unusual, isn't it? Because we just had to we just have to click the middle one, so it looks like. So there we go. This is more wave light now and it leads into the next kind of cycle so let me show you it's a subtle difference but it makes all the difference in my mind okay basically this is all it just needs a few tweaks if you're not quite happy with that as I'm not quite happy with that I'm not going to spend ages um, uh, tweaking it and finessing it just to, just to extend this tutorial but this is basically how it works so if we can now go back into our edit screen here Okay, um, we made our animation there. Now here's a nice little trick. So if I, there we go. So if I take that one, copy it, just come to the end, and then click uh, Control and V, Control and V, Control and V, Control and V. Let's just scrub that to the end there. And now, so all I've done is repeated that animation there. If we click play, And there we go. And uh, that's how we do it. Thank you very much.